Hi, in this video I will show you the approach to my solution in the Oracle programming language to this week's Perl Weekly Challenge. So it's week 68 and the task number one, which mm, so which asks us to, to take a three-dimensional, a two-dimensional uh, three by three, in this case, array. And what you have to do, so if you see zero, you have to make the whole row and the whole column also containing zeros. So uh, for this example, the first row and the second column should be uh, containing only zeros. All the rest stays one. So what I did first, so let's just uh, yeah see what it does. And actually, uh, I, I wanted to make sure that I know how to take the first element. So this one will definitely... Print the first row, that's right. Uh, what's next? So, yeah, now I know that uh, I can access the single element using the second index in the second pair of square brackets. Well, that's yeah, that's uh, obvious, but sometimes you need to know that uh, you're really doing the correct thing in the language you're learning. Uh, okay, okay, which button to press? So, then uh, I want to scan the array. I don't know uh, how many elements I do have there. So uh, use the alums, not size, the alums method, which gives you a three in this case. Uh, you can always check it. And you then need to know the length of the single row, basically the width of this input matrix. This is what we can do. Right, so it's three and three. What else? Then I want to, yeah, I see. So so uh, the idea was to use the KV method, which returns you the keys and the values so that I know the index of the element and the element itself. So I want to loop over this. So I want, oh yeah, now I don't know what to do. So I just try to uh, see what's there inside after this loop. So actually this code, will give me 0, 1, and 2. That's right, so the first row, the second row, and the third row. And yeah, definitely I want to see. So everything works correctly, and I know that I'm taking the current row. Uh, what's next? Then, 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 then. You see, so I'm trying to do something. There are many attempts, so uh, this is how I'm thinking. So, okay, so I have the numbers of the rows and the rows themselves. What to do next? Maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe we can make some hash where the indices are the uh, keys. Let's see, so something like that. And the idea was I just want to grab this hash somehow. I don't know how yet. Uh, okay, so it's not really a good idea, so I'm returning back to the original idea with key V. And uh, then I'm trying to find out if the current row contains a zero, at least one zero. So basically it's uh, at least one zero means that all the elements are ones, which actually one is true. So yeah, I can just use the any function and now I will print the number of the row where there is at least one zero. So you see, the first row has at least one zero. This is what I want to know for each uh, data, for each row. Uh, but then I have to collect all those uh, number of rows, all those numbers, to do something with that. And I also need the number of numbers of columns. Basically, the number of columns is kind of the same as the number of row, but instead of horizontally, or instead of scanning the uh, matrix horizontally, I have to scan it vertically. So I'm trying to do it within, within the current row. I'm trying to do more or less the same with columns, which is not really a good idea because I'm scanning too many data. Uh, I don't need that much. So I'm trying to do it in a separate loop. In a separate loop, uh, I'm uh, just uh, taking the first row at the moment, and I'm trying to uh, 
use the keys method just to get the numbers of columns. Let's see how it works. Yeah, it's uh, so basically uh, the first zero is uh, from the first loop, and one and two are the. I know I'm wrong. So uh, b all those three elements are the indices of the elements in the first row. That's right. And the same trick with all function. And now it's difficult because I need to scan the column and the column actually consists of the element uh, of the elements from different rows. So I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to use the second index. Uh, actually, this is wrong because uh, what you have now, uh, the input 0 to 2 is actually uh, three elements again. So I didn't... Uh, so the idea was that just to take the first element uh, from the first row, the first element from the second row, and the first element from the third row. Uh, but what I'm doing now, I'm just taking uh, the original matrix I took all three rows and I'm just taking the uh, row with the number call uh, from it. So this is completely not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm just trying to print something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and now uh, my, the idea came to me. Uh, so basically uh, uh, I have to transpose or rotate by 90 degrees, uh, rotate this matrix, and after that I will have rows becoming columns and vice versa. So what I can do, I can just uh, transpose the matrix and repeat the same action as I just did for finding the row uh, with zeros. So I will transpose the matrix and repeat the procedure like this. Yeah, definitely the names of the variables are important, but they do not mean much here. Uh, the whole code is exactly the same. So I believe this is the solution. Yes, so it's uh, the first column, the column with index 1, is the one I need, is the one uh, with, uh, with zeros, or actually with one zero. Okay, going next, so now uh, let's collect these numbers, the number of the column to the calls array. Uh, so we are done, kind of done, so now we need to uh, fill the rows and the columns uh, whose numbers are in the rows and calls uh, arrays with zeros. Mm, yeah, and I'm trying to... Uh, fill this. So for rows, just put some zeros there. Uh, it's a temporary solution because uh, we want to make the solution for any uh, matrix size. And let's just print it. So uh, let's see if it works. Yes, so you see the first row uh, contains zeros. So we made it at least horizontally we filled it with zeros. But that's not enough, because what we need to do, we also need to fill the no, columns. Uh, so this line fills the rows. Let's see if it works. Yes, it's the same. And then I have to scan the second array call and fill the columns. Fill the columns with zeros. So something like this. And uh, again, as I don't know the size, I have to compute it. So it's just from zero. Actually, zero is not zero is uh, redundant here uh, until the end of the array. Something is wrong. What's wrong? Row is not declared. Let's fix this by completely rewriting the solution in uh, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, I cancelled this uh, path. Uh, I decided to make something more interesting. So if we have columns and we know how many rows uh, are there in the uh, input data, let's just make a product of columns multiplied by 0, 1, 2 and fill it. So uh, let's print what it does so uh, you don't see this. I will clean and run it again. 
Uh, so you see, so one zero one 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 two. Well, one is the number of the column and row is the number of the row, obviously. Uh, okay, so it seems what that it's uh, what we want, and then just assign it to zero, and it's done. So we see the second, the second uh, column becomes zero now, which is correct. What I did. Oh my God! Yes. Um, okay. Uh, next step is to yeah, kind of everything is okay. The only problem uh, is that I'm signing three zeros explicitly, and I don't like the size of the code. It has some similar. It's not exactly repeating, but there are some similar uh, fragments which I don't like. And let's yeah, make it. Uh, a bit make the output resembles a matrix. Uh, yes, next. So let's try to add some elements like this, for example, and see that it looks like it works. Uh huh, uh huh, that's good. Now eliminate this problem with the fixed number of zeros it looks like this is a solution okay let's keep it let's keep it but actually it's uh, yeah it was a bit incorrect because we need to scan the column and the length of the row is the length of the first row right yeah uh, but it, again we will uh, remove this uh, thing in a moment the next thing is I wanted to somehow get rid of those rows and calls array uh, arrays and instead of just pushing to the array I want to take and gather uh, the number right I don't know if it's better now but at least it's like fancier and for the rest it should work yes it works uh, so I'm using those arrays as it was before, but uh, now I have two big constructions with gather and I want to collapse them into a single thing. Uh, so let's do something. So let's create some function which will return uh, the numbers of the lines containing zeros, which will become kind of empty lines in the future. Uh, some data, which is a matrix. Matrix. Uh, I put this gather take four and less block uh, inside, and I will try to use this here. And also, I want to find columns, 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 like this. So this is. Uh, so you see, uh, one empty line call is. Uh, for the original data at input and the second one for finding columns is the same call for the same array but with just transposed, uh, transposed matrix. I don't know if this one works. Oh, it does. Nice. Uh, I have some redundant code, the code that I don't use in this program, so I will comment it out. Uh, but again, uh, now it's kind of yeah I kind of like this because because I have a separate function which does all the work to find the either an element uh, of I, either a row or a column but it still looks like a bit a bit too big for this task uh, then I wanted to really well yeah now i'm switching rows and uh, columns and uh, rows so that uh, they are in the same line yeah, and and now it's really like a puzzle to to get the correct so what this data means well yeah it means that i'm scanning it somehow uh but you see i'm using another uh, product uh which scans the matrix vertically so from zero to the number of rows and multiplies it by the 
number of by the the uh, array which contains the numbers of the lines which I have to make zero lines. So you see, so I'm scanning uh, and I'm trying to uh, fill them with zero. Uh, next, I tried to uh, make all those calls like in single place and basically just use them. But again, I'm uh, uh, saving the data in the separate rows and calls arrays, which is fine, but I still don't like this. And I'm trying to find the uh, shortest solution uh, to just use the cross product and to fill these zeros, to put zeros in correct places just in one loop. Something like that. That becomes, yeah, see, so there are like two, uh, two products. I want to combine them to a single list and just to fill it. This solution doesn't work, so I tried, uh, yeah, different th silly things and I didn't like that, so I will not show the output for this. Uh, but after that, I just did this. So I'm just filling the row with zeros and I'm filling the columns with zeros. So just just like that. So we see I get rid of, uh, I will show it again, I got rid of uh, the array with XX because, well, yeah, why creating some lists uh, if I can just use a loop. So I can use the loop and I can use a similar loop to scan the columns. So that's the solution. So the bottom part of this code uh, is not needed, so we can comment it out. Uh, and what's lost, the say and the function, uh, they should be there, right? We should not comment them out. Yes, there's some uh, output, uh, but the matrix looks correct again. Let's do this final step. So yeah, I want to test if that works, it works. Uh, and now I want something more interesting. So yeah, I forgot how to clone the, I know that there's the clone method. Uh, and I tried, but basically what I wanted to do here is to uh, create a separate output matrix and fill it because I thought maybe it's uh, simpler just to feel something new than just to try not to break the original date because uh, when I call empty lines for both calls I need the original data because if I will first fill zeros will fill rows with zeros then I will not be able to find the columns where the original zero was so uh, yeah I tried to clone uh, yeah, it doesn't work because it, it's a shallow uh, copy, so the first rows are copied, but actually they contain references to uh, to the uh, original data. So if I will print this, I will get some broken data. You see too many zeros. Uh, actually, the arrays are the same. Okay, so just uh, forget this and don't clone arrays like I just did. Yeah, this copy would be a fine alternative, but yeah, it doesn't exist in Raku yet. Oh uh, yeah, it just, just not in the design. Okay, so uh, let's keep this solution. Uh, let's simplify this gather and take block. It looks fine, but it looks like it can be much, much simpler. Uh, yeah, first uh, I try to just do it with list. Uh, then I tried uh, to, yeah, to yeah to run the program uh, with different data. It looks correct, but it didn't uh, actually help to make the program shorter. Uh, we still have these empty lines, the same number of rows as before, and it's not really like it's fine, but not for me. Uh, okay, so what can we do? So basically, it's kind of some some grouping through the data and we need to uh, call the all method on it on every row and on every column uh, we don't think we don't have to think about columns at this moment because we are calling the empty lines with a transposed data when we are talking about columns so it's always about rows uh, within the function 
so uh, so just uh, take the row and and uh, give some uh, some some thinking uh, so yeah this is uh, I'm just trying to to <laughs> to uh, create some correct grape grep with a star actually star is simple thing but not when you're using other uh, subscript uh, for example if you have these square brackets your star will not work I'll just try this one yeah so it's not what I want uh, further continue further so this is this is uh, kind of uh, the thing but uh, we don't yeah now I wanted to really understand that it works and I want to see the indices that are returned here okay next screen yeah so see you see so this is the final uh, state of the function now it's only one line and probably you can make it even shorter because uh, the negation and all probably can be replaced with some kind of none and comparing with zero or comparing with zero but yeah I uh, I'm okay with this. I, I don't like the fact that I have to use uh, uh, curly braces and I can't use a star in, on this line 20. Uh, but okay, let's keep it like this. Uh, the article is done uh, and it looks like it's a good solution, right?